this video, we're going to use the linked list class we made earlier to implement the stack interface. We're going to call our class a fast stack, and that's just to differentiate it between the linked and array stack classes that we'll see later. The book provides this stack interface called stack ADT that has a push, push and pop methods, peak methods to look and see if what the element is at the top of the list, and then it has is empty size and two string also in that interface. And as you'll remember, we had a linked list class we implemented previously, and this class has all the methods we need to use to implement a stack because we add and remove from the front and the rear. So we can say that this implements the stack interface. And it doesn't know where this is, so we'll need to say that we want to import it. So now you can see that the error changed from the interface name to the class name because we haven't implemented those methods. So I'll just allow Eclipse to do that for me. So I'm just going to have one data member in my class. You may think, well, hold on a second. We need, we need a method. We need something to keep track of what the top is and all that. Actually, we don't, we don't really need that because all of that is built into the linked list, or at least the capability of doing that is built into the linked list. And then we'll specify what we want to do with the linked list during each method. So here's the linked list that's going to hold my stack. Now we didn't get a two string method. For now, let's go ahead and use the automatic two string method. And we can update that later if we decide to. So here's the two string method it gives us, but let's move that to the end. And you can see that all it does is it's just going to print the linked list as a string. But for now, that's sufficient. So let's review what a what a stack needs to do. So a stack is a linear data structure where we add things from to the top and we remove things from the top. Now a linked list doesn't have a top, it just has a front and a rear. However, if you think about it, essentially what we're saying is that a stack is a linear data structure, that's what a linked list is, where we add and remove from the same end. So if we think of a stack that way, then a linked list works perfectly. We just need to pick either the front or the rear and call the appropriate methods. So for push, that's when we add something to the stack. Well, I just need to add something to the list. So I'll call elements, add to front, and I'll pass in element. Pop remove something from the top. Since we're using a linked list, we're treating the front as the top. So I will remove first. Peak is almost identical, except we're not going to remove any elements. We're just going to look at the first element. And again, remove first and first both return the element stored in the first node in the linked list. Again, we're treating the front of the linked list as the top of the stack. I could completely change this, change the direction and just say add to rear, remove from rear and return last. And that would be the same as that would accomplish the same thing. Again, we just need to pick one end and treat that as the top and then do everything from that end. Is empty. I can just call elements is empty. For the size, I just need to call elements size. And then we already have a two string method. And you may say, well, that seems awfully simple. We didn't really actually do anything. And you're right, we didn't. We didn't really implement any new code. We just called methods from that existing data structure. But by having this generic data structure, and when I say generic, I don't just mean that it takes a generic type. I mean that it's just a linked list. I can map the methods of this stack ADT interface to methods of this actual data structure. And that allows me to implement a stack using a linked list. OK, so let's create a driver just to test our class out. And I'm going to call this stack driver. 
and I need a main method. And I'm going to call this fast stack. And one of the reasons I'm, I'm writing these particular methods is in the book, it actually does a lot of examples of stacks and queues, but it just uses a list in place of that particular data structure. And I think it works a little better to actually have a stack where we're actually using a stack or a queue to do those examples. And so I've rewritten those examples to actually make use of these stacks. I'm not just treating a list as a stack. I'm actually using a stack that I've implemented using a list. So hopefully what that is makes sense. But if not, you'll, you'll see if you compare my examples to what you'll see in the book. And we'll also talk about those when we get to those specific examples. The first thing we need to do is create our object. And let's, uh, we'll put strings in there. And whenever I think I want a stack of strings, I always, for some reason, like to say strings and not string. So fast stack, it will do one of integer. And I will say stack one, add, oh, we don't, we don't add, remember this is a stack, so we're gonna say push. And we'll say New Orleans. We'll say Tampa Bay. We'll push Carolina. And we'll push Atlanta. And then for our integer stack, we'll add 10 integers and we'll add the integers in order and let's go from one to nine so we'll do nine integers and so now we'll we'll print out these stacks and i'll print the size first And then I'll print the entire stack. And I'll do the same for stack two. And this needs to be out. So there we go. When I run this, it's not going to work. I need to make this static. So now, when I run this, I get an exception. That's never good. So I get a null pointer exception. Ah, <laughs> So um, I'll give you a second. It's very clear what's wrong here, but I'll give you a second to think about it on your own. And the problem here is that I don't have a constructor. I will let Eclipse create one for me. And I'll just say that I want one using the elements field. And that's actually sufficient. Again, you'll notice I did very little programming here at all. The only thing I typed myself was that it implements the static ADT, well, and the class name. And then I also added the method call for each one, but I really didn't do a lot of work here. So it looks like we still have a bug now on our driver. So the constructor is undefined, interesting. Ah. I see what happened when it when it made this for me it's, it thinks i want an element and i actually don't want an element i want this just to be a new link list and so then i can just delete this and we've done that and now that error goes away and we could run this code and you can see now one problem you may see is this two string is is not very good so let's see if we can rewrite our two string to where it's a little better than just that default one Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to write create a string. And that's the one I'm going to return. And what I'll do is I'll start off and I'll, I'll say that this is the top. And then I'll use an iterator. And this is the linked list iterator. I'll get all the elements out of that linked list this way. And I'll say return is equal to 
that element plus, and we'll just say a space. So now when I run, I get a much nicer way of doing this. So let me add a space there. And yeah, you can see that this comes out a lot nicer than what we had before. This is just a really quick example, again, of how to use one data structure to implement another interface. And this is going to let us use an actual stack in our example. So again, we could, if we wanted to, go through and whenever we wanted to push, say, add to front or, or whatever. But in this case, we're, we're going to be able to actually use the stack methods the way we did in this driver class. So in the next video, we'll do a similar thing, except that we'll create a queue instead of a stack.